I'm also kind of a shy person in the future because I'm getting off soon. I'm doing my ear abroad for my PhD, which is typically required. More complicated than I would like to. He was half Indonesian and half Italian. I truly loved him, of course. And he it's wanted true, yeah. a totally different life. He wanted to move to another country. I spent so much time being with him, trying to figure out why I'm still so attached to this person. Try to like go out with someone. Really focusing on my career. So I haven't had a relationship long enough to even consider getting married. I could see us getting married one day. They don't have very uh, strong religious. I kind of love every kind of music. My mother is a clarinet. He was very big in the 70s or 80s. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, what's your name? Rachel. Rachel, and you're from? I'm from Florence originally, actually from a small town near Florence. Okay. It's actually Prato. Prato, okay. Prato. We're okay. crossing that. Mm. Uh, basically, she's uh, Rachel and Raquel, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, Florence is here. Italy, Florence, right? Yes. And oh, that's why we're going to see how it works. We're going to see So, I'm going to see how it works. She's a scientist, right? Yes, I'm a PhD student in geodesy and dramatics, which and basically look, means I look at satellites and see what they do. And look like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I do look like a little bit of Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to see Venice. I'm going to see Venice. Venice is going to see how it works. Venice is going to see how it works. Okay, around six hours like Bama Venice. Oh, that's a Florence. Yes. So Florence is like Amra do hunter like Baro Venice Jeter. So they can decorate some like to just cough over in a chip. Train just Matri Charlo. Okay, Rachel. Basically, I really want to like know about you. Like, you know, what do you do? You don't yes. need to like, you know, put your like full name. Of course. Need to disclose. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And like, t t tell us about you and like, you know, the journey. Like, you know, we'll be talking. Well, uh, yes. Basically, I'm 26 years old. Oh wow. For, for that's that's the first yeah. thing I would say about I mean, myself. Very young. Uh, I look very young. I look yeah. younger. 16. I mean, I, I'm, yes, I look 16. 16 yes, like, yeah. everybody tells me that. <laughs> right. okay. How old are you guys? In guess. Guess. Like, yeah, good guess. Okay. I I'd say between 28. Uh, around 28-ish? Uh, I'm 25. 25? I'll be 25 till I die. Really? <laughs> you are 25? No, I said I'll be 25 till I die. Okay, but how old are you actually? <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, like, you know, I, I know I'm, I look so young. Yeah, you look, I mean, you look young, definitely. Yeah, I know. Yes. That's, that's, that's my age. <laughs> okay. Young is my age. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to disclose your age as well. I'm not going to disclose my full right. name. That's the thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, I've, I've actually been living in Rome for seven years. Okay. And I've come here to study when I was 19. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I decided to, you know, get get out of the house right. and see the world and I had an opportunity to study here because of scholarship mm -hmm. uh, which was a rather a good thing because otherwise I wouldn't have afforded to start living in another city mm -hmm. I mean my family is doing quite well off but of course I mean it's it's a whole total, total different mindset I, I couldn't be able to work at the time because mm -hmm. university university is so demanding here mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to become an engineer right. um, that's what I basically did. I mean, uh, I've been studying engineering for, I mean, I studied engineering for five years uh, in Rome and, and then, then? Uh, graduating and then started a PhD. Um, like, look, yes, it sounds yes. so heavy. I mean, it sounds heavy, but right. that's what I wanted. Like, I mean, my, uh, like at your age, you know? Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. I've, I've, I'm, at, um, I'm starting my second year PhD, okay. so I've basically started when I was 24. Um, so yes, uh, I'm not 26 yet. So I'm still 25 well, actually. When is what? When is your birthday? 27th of May. Oh, everybody yes. in advance. Yes. <laughs> What's your plan on your birthday? Like usually what you do? Well, on a daily basis, I, I just, um, since I started my PhD, I basically work in an office and I also work for, kind of work for a company that co-founds my PhD, which is uh, related to aerospace engineering because I'm in that specific sector, uh, in that specific area of interest. So I kind of gravitate around uh, satellites and um, what I do on a daily basis is research on uh, how can we can use... But how do you celebrate your birthday? My how do you birthday? How do you celebrate? celebrate my birthday? Well, I usually. Well, I haven't celebrated my birthday for a long time Why not? because I I don't know. I mean, um, 
I usually go in the Roman ghetto. In a, like, okay. I, I, I do very small stuff. Right. My tradition is going no. to the Roman ghetto, <laughs> and um, usually uh, to have. I mean, to have dinner with friends, I usually go in the same spot all, all, all years. I mean, I, I, I never do anything big, actually. So uh, I've never celebrated, like, uh, with a big party or whatever. I mean, I, I've only done it once, of course, when I, I you know, turn 18. Just, that's the only thing we do here. I mean, uh, when okay. you turn 18 and you're uh, basically an adult and right. you decided to celebrate it with a big party, that's the only thing I did. Otherwise, uh, I, I mean, I'm a big nerd. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big lot. nerd. So, lot, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I also don't have like that very big of a friend group. So, um, I'm also kind of a shy person. I mean, yeah. I, I do. I do really? <laughs> yes. I mean, you caught me in a, you, 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 on a good day. You caught okay. me on a good day. Okay. Because otherwise, I'm a, kind of a very shy this person. This is the best day? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? You're, you're not feeling shy, right? No, no, no. I'm not, definitely not feeling no, shy. Me? Just, no, just because a little bit. Not because of me? Yeah, no, 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 I feel like no, I'm very but, comfortable. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I'm trying to seem sure. as comfortable. Right? I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually, I could also start practicing because um, you know, I mean, I'm not a very big talker with strangers or whatever, but I'm going to start my year abroad for a PhD, okay. so I'll have to make friends to survive. <laughs> this is, yes. this is my training. <laughs> this is my training for the future because I'm getting off soon, so okay. um, I'm actually going to Zurich. Uh, oh, so. Zurich when? We're going to Zurich too? Mm, well, I will for, uh, like in September. Yeah, yes, okay. in September at least. So, I mean, even after that, maybe. Maybe, I mean, it's, it's not decided yet, but I'm doing my year abroad for my PhD, which is typically required for us people in research. I mean, mm. to do it, I mean, a little bit of time off university and uh, uh, starting somewhere else to continue your research and maybe also figure out if you can have a life outside right. of the world that I, you are I, I have using. some uh, rapid fires. Okay, this, this is this, uh, the read the uh, first line and second line. Okay. Do I have to read it out loud? Like right, okay, right, yes. Read, read like this. Okay, travel to Europe with world famous tour and travels, <laughs> and explore the world with WFTT. <laughs> you trust it, travel partner. <laughs> <laughs> so they are my sponsor. Like, okay. For the trip. Uh, for the okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so I have, done I have, my best. Have, 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 yeah, you are. But we'll be taking no issues. But uh, I have some rapid fire part. Um, like if I may ask you about like your uh, love life. Would, my love life. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's a little bit more complicated than I would like to. Okay. I mean, um, I was with a guy, I mean, for, for quite a long time, for kind of three years, and then he moved to Australia. Oh, okay. Yes, so we kind of split like uh, eight months ago, between six and eight months ago. So I, do, I don't even remember the day specifically because it was such a trauma for me. Uh, yes, we, we were together for a long time. He was half Indonesian and half Italian. So um, he always had a passion for surfing. He was also a cook. So he was a very artsy person, totally different from me. I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, structured person, and a kind of rigid person and on right. some level. I mean, if you could say that I'm kind of a rigid person. Mm. Um, and he was the total opposite. It was kind of a ray of sunlight. I mean, I truly loved him, of course. Of course. And I didn't stuff started it started you know getting off a little bit rocky when uh, um, I mean we, we figured out that we were totally different people and uh, he wanted a, a totally different life than I did uh, I wanted to stay in university maybe stay close to my family because I mean I've been away for seven years so I, I at the same time I see my parents they're growing old and uh, I'm growing old as well, so and I would like to stay at least a little bit closer to them, right. maybe. And he should, wanted yeah. a totally different life. He wanted to move to another country, to move to the other part of the world, and I couldn't do that. Like I mean, not now at least. Right. So um, we just took two different ways, and um, and I mean, the the moment of the breakup was probably the the one I suffered the most from because uh, I mean, we still knew that we loved each other, but. It was kind of hard for us because um, 
I mean, we were looking at each other in the eyes and knowing that we weren't made for each other, at least not now. So it was really hard for me to accept that a person that I love so much and uh, in whom I believe so much and uh, I, I spent so much time being with him and giving him all that I could. He's doing well and I'm very happy for him. But at the same time, I cannot accept like how harsh things were at the end of the relationship because and as I was saying, there was no actual problem in the relationship. We were always very close. It was really, really difficult for me to let go of that specific thing. Also, we were we had passions together. We had, I mean, stuff we liked. And at, and at some point, I just decided not to do anything that could remind me of him. So it was really difficult so, for me. Have yes. you tried to move on? Well, I've, I've tried elaborating this kind of sorrow that I'm feeling. Uh, I'm doing therapy <laughs> basically really? yeah I go to therapy I mean um, yes uh, just with a psychologist I mean uh, um, just to, to figure out I mean uh, why I'm trying to do it like without relying on another person so not looking for love at the moment but uh, trying to figure out why I'm still so attached to this person inside myself and I cannot I mean this prevents me from letting anyone else in so okay. uh, I'm See, trying to figure out you that you didn't even try to like go out with someone sorry you didn't even try to go out with someone I have tried I, I mean I haven't really uh, I haven't been successful on that side just because um, um, as, I was, as I said before I was really in love with this other person and there were so many qualities that I recognized in this person that this guy that moved to Australia that I was with um, that I found in anyone else yet oh, so uh, of course maybe uh, I'm also very critical of other people and still again very attached to this other ideal love that I had um, looking deeply into it there there were problems, but I still have an idealized version of that kind of love that seems to not be matched with anyone else. So I'm looking, I'm still looking for him in other people, which right. is not good. So not good, yeah. um, not good. it's not good. I have to let go of him and us first to let someone, someone right. else in. So that is definitely something that I'm trying to do at the moment. But I'm trying to do it, but at, at the same time, I'm really focusing on my career. I, I try to take the uh, whole situation to focus on what I have to do, like uh, on a, a more working related level. <laughs> so that's the only thing I could do for the moment. Hey, and your parents, they really don't want you to get married or something like that? For my parents, I'm still a baby. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I mean, uh, are, yeah. um, here in Italy, it's not that common to marry, like, um, I'm, I'm still considered kind of a young person to get married. So, um, in, in general terms, I would say people get married here around 30-ish. Mm. So, and, and they typically, you typically try to be in a relationship for as long as you can before getting married. I mean, I haven't had, uh, uh, so I haven't had a relationship long enough to even consider getting married. You're at how adult life as a couple could be. So, I haven't really had the opportunity. Of course, I envisioned a future especially with this last person, so I could see us getting married one day. Having um, babies. Yes, and maybe I would have considered that if we were still together or if we could have stayed together for longer. I would could definitely, I could, I, I, we could have definitely been together. Right. Uh, but for the moment, I still, I'm still lacking the, the, the one of the main elements to get married, which is a partner. <laughs> so, um, not considering that at the moment. I, could, I would like to get married though. I mean, I, I, I totally see myself getting married one day, maybe having kids. I still don't know about that, but um, yes, I'm, I'm, for my parents, I'm still young and also they saw how much I kind of suffered. I mean, they, they experienced that suffering, so they, uh, they want the best for me but as course. parents, so they're not pushing me to, to find a partner, partner or whatever. I mean, uh, they're kind of happy. If I'm happy, if I, if I feel myself realize maybe with, with work or with therapy, and doing well in general without uh, necessarily have, being in a relationship. So that's, that's the one thing about my parents. My parents are still young, I would say. I mean, they're in their the late 50s, so, the, so they're kind of 
imagine if, I mean if my 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 grandparents like if, if my parents were my grandparents right. they, I mean they're they coming from a totally different generation so they would have pushed me I mean if, if, if I found friend uh, parents but mine are very understanding and quite modern I would say I mean they're not uh, necessarily religious believers uh, or they don't have very uh, strong religious uh, values so Uh, uh, you don't like jazz? No, not Thank necessarily. Okay. Classic okay. rock, yeah. Tell me classic rock, yeah. I love classic rock and classic rock. rock. My favorite band is Dire Straits. Dire Straits, yes. Oh, yeah, amazing. My, yeah. That's, that's my favorite band. Yeah. I, I, I kind of have an emotional bond because they were my parents' okay. favorite. Uh, hmm. My my parents actually Money for got... Things, yes, yeah, yes. I know, yeah. My parents, uh, I mean, I have this very strong memory of hmm. me, my, my father and my mother, hmm. and also my sister, but that came a little bit after, hmm. uh, dancing in the living room hmm. to Dire Straits. And, um, yeah. so, on Dire Straits? On Dire Straits. Only? Like, Yeah. Well, um, my my parent, no, me, me, definitely not. Um, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I kind of love every kind of music. I mean, not necessarily jazz because I, mean, I do not no, have I don't the, like jazz. I, I like, uh, okay. the understanding right, for that. Yeah. So I kind of, I, I kind of think that to really appreciate jazz, maybe you have to uh, maybe play an instrument or have a little bit more education on related to music. I don't play any instruments, so uh, which is a pity because my my mother is a clarinet player, so she could have taught me, but she never did. So I, I, I don't play any instrument. I just play a little bit of a guitar, but just, uh, not professionally, definitely not professionally. And, um, So I listen to almost everything, from pop to rock, rock to metal. Uh, yes, yes. He's listening. So, I mean, we we can search through my Spotify if you want to have like more specific stuff. Yeah. I also I listen yeah, yeah, to Italian yeah. music, okay. uh, Italian yeah. artists from I I would say it's considered to be pop music, but it's actually not. It's very uh, there's there are specific authors whose uh, lyrics I like a lot. Italian pop. It's a it's 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 a specific genre. It's more similar to indie music. Okay. I mean, if you listen to it, it's okay. much similar to what you would say is indie music. So they have uh, these guitars, these pianos in the background, and then there's a, a, a person singing, but with a very indie core. I would say so. That that could be considered indie music. But I had Estza playing in the background, Estza and Travis Scott. So I mean, you can definitely. Say <laughs> you can definitely say I like yeah. a lot, but he's, I mean, he is Lucio Dalla, yeah. yes, okay. yes, he's my favorite player of all time. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I also, again, I have an emotional attachment to him. He's a, he's, he was from the, um, I do believe he was born in the 40s, mm. maybe, um, <laughs> and uh, he was very big in the 70s or 80s, also 90s, maybe, uh, here in Italy, but yes, he, um, his texts were, his lyrics was, mm. A lot based on uh, <laughs> uh, You have a beautiful smile. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> And you should like smile yeah. pretty smile often. Smile more. <laughs> yeah, pretty often, right, yeah. Yeah, tell us about this. Well, I really don't know what this is. This really? Is, But you tell yeah, us a lot. This no? is an industrial area. I mean, all the area between here and uh, where um, we're probably crossing some wine hills because as you're approaching Florence, every every uh, area in the surroundings is basically uh, devoted to wine consumption and right. wine production. So. Um, So also, I, I, mean, would love to, Florence, I, I would love to, to. I would love to match with you, and I, I want to like you know, put it off. Okay. Oh, we. <laughs> so we, we have, yeah. <laughs>